Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Dan down in Georgia. I'm working on a C20 1984 doing an axle flip. And, um, well, I ran into a problem here. Something that I haven't seen on any forms or any of the axle flips. Most people do the C10s, so you don't see this. This is C20, so let me show you what we got. So there's this proportioning valve here. And the other line comes up and in, comes into here. And it has these two arms. Got this arm here and this that goes down in the pumpkin. Unfortunately, because it's so bright out, I don't think y'all can see that. But it comes down and goes down to the pumpkin. Let's see if I get a better angle from this side. Yeah, there you go. So, all the C10s don't have this. This is a C20. So what I did was, I disconnected the line here, this little flexible line. As you see, it was here. And I disconnected the line that comes in down here. I bent it, bent it straight, well, straight-ish. And we connected it straight to that line. So I put some type of hanger or something there. But now I can remove this, I can remove all the stuff that's on the pumpkin from it, remove this bracket and the bracket in the back. I haven't seen anybody post about this, so uh, I think this was a nice, easy, simple, free fix, which is free is always good. And it's been a hot day down here in Georgia, and I had to do this bed by my sea. There's the bed that I took off today, and here's the truck. It's been a fun day, and I keep running into different things. Another thing I ran into, this guy had these two fifth wheel plates welded onto the dang truck, as you see. So I did not have a wrench big enough to get that nut off of there. That's about two and a half inches. So I just cut it out, as you see. Just cut it right out. I'm not using that bed. Step side bed's going on here. We're gonna chop this frame. But that's probably next weekend if I can get this stuff done this weekend. Anyways, hope that helps you.